In this video, I will show you how to connect your Philips TV to Wi-Fi without the remote control. Now, it doesn't matter the type of Philips TV you have, whether you have the Philips Google TV, the Philips Android TV, or even the older models of Philips TV just like this one. By the end of this video, you should be able to connect any Philips TV you have to Wi-Fi without your physical remote control. Now, there are basically three ways to go about this and trust me, either one of the solutions I'm going to offer in this particular tutorial will definitely work out for you. Now, now for the first and the simplest method, what you want to do is to go ahead and change your current Wi-Fi name and password to the same Wi-Fi name and password that your Philips TV has been connected to before. Now trust me, this works for any Philips TV you have. So in simple term, what you want to do is to basically just change your Wi-Fi name and password to the Wi-Fi name and password that your Philips TV has connected to previously. And I'm going to practically show you how this is done. So basically, if I want my Philips TV over here to connect to my phone's hotspot or a Wi-Fi, what I'll just do is to go ahead and change the Wi-Fi name and password of this phone to the exact Wi-Fi name that the TV has connected to before. So you basically just want to head over to the hotspot hotspot settings of your phone if you're connecting to a hotspot or the Wi-Fi settings of your Wi-Fi if you're connecting to your Wi-Fi. Now what you want to do is to look for the portable hotspot settings and then you want to make sure that portable hotspot is turned on and then under the set portable hotspot option over here, you basically want to change this SSID option which is basically your Wi-Fi name or your hotspot name and then you also want to change the password of your hotspot as well. I'll go ahead and change mine to the exact Wi-Fi name and password that my Philips TV has connected to previously and I have just changed the Wi-Fi name and password of my current hotspot or my current Wi-Fi over here and once you're done just click on the done button over here and then just make sure that portable hotspot or your Wi-Fi is turned on after you have changed the name and password to the previous Wi-Fi name and password that the TV has connected to. Now at this point you just want to go ahead and give your Philips Android TV, your Philips Google TV or the other model of Philips TV some few seconds and trust me the TV will automatically connect to your new Wi-Fi thinking that it is the previous one. If you for about two to four minutes and it still does not connect another thing you can actually do is to just go ahead and turn off the tv and then turn it on again and trust me the tv will automatically search for new wi-fi network and then it will automatically connect to your new wi-fi thinking that it is actually the previous one that it has connected to before but if this solution does not work out for you then you want to go ahead and try my second solution in this video for the second method you want to go ahead and connect your philips tv to wi-fi using a keyboard in case you do not know you can actually connect control most Philips TV, obviously not all the Philips TV, but most Philips TV you can actually control them to connect to Wi-Fi using a keyboard. This particular trick actually works most of the time with Philips Android and Philips Google TV and it also works in some other models of Philips TV but basically that is why I have a Philips Google TV over here. In this case you will definitely be needing a wired keyboard or a keyboard with a USB dongle just like this one. What you want to do is to go ahead and connect the USB dongle to any of the USB ports on your Philips TV and you're good to go. I'll go ahead and connect mine and once it is connected you can now use these navigation buttons usually at the right hand side of your keyboard to navigate through the TV and connect it to Wi-Fi. So basically you can just navigate just like so and you can literally see mine is currently working. Once I get over to the Wi-Fi settings over here I'll just go ahead and select it by clicking on the enter button and from here I can now turn on Wi-Fi, connect to my Wi-Fi without any issue. And finally, another interesting way you can connect any Philips TV to Wi-Fi without the remote control is to basically just get a wired Wi-Fi network. Now with a wired Wi-Fi, you can simply just connect the LAN cable to the Ethernet port on your TV and once that is plugged, you are good to go. You don't have to do anything. The TV automatically uses the internet connection of the router or the Wi-Fi that is connected to it. If any of this solution actually worked out for you, please make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this 